Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how there's a big issue if you're moving from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. A majority of that issue is gonna be around the world of stock. And in particular, if you're manufacturing stock. So imagine you bought in a load of widgets and you converted those widgets into something and then that something then got sold. Or it might even be more complicated than that. You might have widgets that goes into a component, multiple components get into something else and then that final thing is what gets sold. Now that's what we're trying to look at today. And what I want to do is use this opportunity to showcase a third party solution, which we think might be able to help quite considerably in this battle. Now, normally when we're looking at this, we'll be looking at dedicated solutions. And the solutions that I've normally been pushing is things like Primer Seller, Trade Gecko, which is now QB Commerce, which unfortunately isn't in the UK at this point in time, and other dedicated stock solutions. The problem with that is they're very, very pricey. And what we found here is a really cost-effective solution that not only solves a problem maybe the manufacturing side, but also gives us an opportunity to think about how we could use this solution for other aspects of the business. So join me as we go and try and tackle that one big issue from moving from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, stock. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fancy New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly neighborhood podcaster that goes live each and every Monday at 8.30 a.m. on Ask the Accountant. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about the world of stock and how stock manufacturing is preventing people from being able to move from QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks Online. Now, as I said in my intro, there are dedicated solutions out there, but with the price points that they're charging, you actually need to use the whole solution. If your business is going rapidly at the moment and you're actually going through and selling on multiple channels, then those bigger solutions may be better for you. Especially if you're having problems with maybe using purchasing and purchase orders and you're getting confused with the actual way of actually sending information out and sending stock out and where that stock held if you've got multiple locations and you've got a really complex solution, then they start to pay for themselves. Because the whole point of the more dedicated solutions is that you're actually going to be able to use all of the functionality of a stock warehouse management solution. And when you've started to look into that, we've already done a couple of videos, but there's some great software out there like Primer Seller and Trade Keco, which now QuickBooks Commerce. But again, that's a huge amount of cost to get those softwares up and running. What if you, all you really need is that manufacturing side? Well, that's what this video is going to look into. I'm going to utilize a solution called Loyverse. Now, Loyverse itself is designed primarily to be a point of sale solution. And we have got videos lined up on this channel, so make sure you subscribe, because we do want to be looking at the, how the actual point of sale solution works. The idea would be that you could have an iPad at front of desk, and then instead of having your traditional till, you'll be able to use that to go through. Very, very similar to how we've been looking at Zettel and Square lately, but this is one that is agnostic of what platform you're using. But the bit that's really exciting me today is all about the stock management. Because I think if this is done right, this could solve one of the big pain points you've got from going from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. Let's have a look. Okay, so what's our main problem? Well, if I go to Sales and Products and Services, currently this section here hasn't been updated in a while. And if you look at it in comparison to the features you have in QuickBooks Desktop versus QuickBooks Online, we are lacking some items. Now, QuickBooks Advance is designed to give us a solution on this. Over in America, they've already started to beta release their new stock management solution. And it seems to be taking a lot of the information from that Trade Gecko solution I've talked about. Now, if it's doing that, there's a good chance that QuickBooks Online Advance will give us the functionality we need to combat this. But for now, we're forced to use either clunky workarounds or third parties. And it's a third party issue that we need to consider. I did look at here, and I've done videos before, of how using that boom technology, we have the opportunity to be able to try and put them together. And the idea would be that you've got part one, part two, part three, and what we could do is we can go back to actions and we can adjust the quantity just up here. Now that works to a point, but that's very manual, and that means that you're gonna to have to keep updating that on a regular basis. What we can have a better opportunity to do if we let third party solutions do that for us. And this is where, for me, we can jump into Loyverse. Now, Loyverse itself is a very capable point-of-sale solution. 
and has a lot of options in here to really help push that point of sale functionality. And you can use it on many devices and it has all that functionality. And again, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to be looking at this in a lot more detail. But the bit that I'm interested in is this inventory management area just here. Never run out of stock. Now, Lawyerverse itself is completely free of charge, but the inventory management system does have a price to it. It's a really low price, and that's the bit that's getting me interested. So let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to get myself started. As simple as that, I'm straight into the solution. One of the cool things is this is fully on my iPad as well. So every change that I make over on the desktop is also going to happen on the iPad. And also that means that all the stuff that we're looking at in terms of the stock features will also be available on iPads, iPhones, and all the other capable hardware as well. So let's go over to our inventory management. And for now, I'm going to start the 14 day free trial. You'll see that it actually costs 20 pound per month per store to get this activated, which in comparison to the other software we've been talking about today is actually much, much, much more competitive. So as you can see here, as soon as I've activated my manage inventory, you can see that it's asking me to thank you for trying it out. Give me some ideas of what's actually happening down below. You can make sure you check this link below and use the supplies and purchase order and you can view changes to your inventory in the inventory history. So, okay, let's go and have an explore. So the first thing it wants me to do is just whack in a purchase order. So let's go in and put in the purchase order as needed. From here, I'm going to go in and say that it was expected on the same day. I can put some notes in as well. That's quite useful. Um, and then I can say that I want to go and put in an item. I don't think I have any items yet though. So let's go and create an item first. Items, there we go. Item list. Just got changes, add an item. So this item, it's here. I'm just going to say is widget. And let's say that it costs 10p per widget. Uh, but it's a pound to sell if we're going to pound. Um, we want to track the stock of these items. Let's say we already have 10 in stock. Let's say we should always have 100. And if there's lower than 150, then we'll say low stock. We can also pick what our primary supplier is and what a default purchase cost is. And we can even create variants of this as well. It's going to make it nice and easy for me to be able to bring in and even bring in a photo if I want to. For now, though, I'm going to save that. I've got my first widget. Now, the next item I want to create, item. And what we're going to say about this item is that the price itself is 100. And it actually costs us, I can put it in the description, 10 widgets. Widgets to make. From here, though, we want to always track our thing and we want it to be a composite item. And the composite item also is a used production. And the idea there is that we will be utilizing some of the stock that's in there. So if I go to here and I can say widget, I could say it takes 10 widgets to create this item. And at the moment I've got zero in stock, we've never built any, so let's save it. So then what that should do is, first of all, if I go to my inventory management, purchase orders, I can add a new purchase order and I can say that we're expecting 100 more widgets. So I go to my widgets, and I'm going to say that we've got 100 on its way. Well, let's do 200. So I've got 200 widgets coming through. So now my purchase order is ready to go. I can press the create button. That purchase order goes and I can even have the option to send it directly from here. I can say that I've received all 200 and that should then mean that my stock has been updated accordingly. So I'll go to items, item list. You'll see that I actually now have 210 in stock zero items. So how do I start building those widgets into items? Well, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do productions just here. I'm going to add my new production and my item is going to be made up of my widgets. So let's say I've got 10 items I need to build up. I can then create save. It's going to look at the items of quantities and those productions are going to be sent to production to be made. So now going back to my items, you can see I've got 10 items and it's utilized those widgets to do it. So it's utilizing the items that are there to create what stock I've got. I now know I only have 110 widgets left, but I now have 10 items I can sell. And when it comes to sell those items, well, it's going to make it really easy because this is a selling solution. 
You can see I can transfer orders between stores if I've got multiple stores. I can do stock adjustments if I've realized I've got damaged or problematic stock. I can do an inventory count and I can even use a Parco scanner to make it really easy for me. I can look at my inventory history. There I was at the very beginning. I used production to be able to take 100 of those widgets out, but I created 10 items for me. And I had 200 widgets at that point. And I even got evaluation of what that stock's gonna be. Looking at my retail, looking at my amounts there, and it's gonna get things nice and easy for me. And if I look at my items here, if I was having this as front of shop, I would have the opportunity to sell some of those widgets if I needed to, and I could put as many of those widgets in. I could sell a couple of those items as well. And then I could charge for it. Once I charge for it, I can pay by card. Um, I can connect a Zettel account to it. I can press connect hit card here, do a new sale, and I can get those items in. So now that I've sold some items on my iPad, if I go back to my item list, you can see that stock figure has all changed again. And again, if I was gonna go over to my actual inventory history, I can see all of the information of how that's gone through. I've got a full solution here, keeping on top of my stock. Now, one of the only frustrating things about this solution is that at the moment, we're not having an opportunity to connect directly to QuickBooks. There is a My App solution, and under My Apps, there is a Loiverse connector. but at the moment it's only going to give in the opportunity to bring you a receipt. So your point of sale solution, that's going to come into QuickBooks automatically, but at the moment we're not getting that stock update, which is a huge shame, but definitely something that you want to reach out to Loiverse to get sorted. For now though, what I would recommend you doing is taking that stock figure and that stock valuation on a month by month basis and just bringing that stock figure into QuickBooks manually. You don't need in QuickBooks itself to have all of the product and service completely up to date. What you would want to do is just bring in those stock figures on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis, depending on what works for you and your system. But there we have it. What does everyone think? Loiverse, we're gonna be looking at this in a lot more detail and we've got some more videos to come up. But just from a stock management system, this seems to be ticking all the boxes at, again, a really reasonable price point. So in our opinion, this is gonna be one of those solutions that we can utilize. It's gonna help us be able to push forward in terms of moving from QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks Online. As always, if you've got any questions about this, pop them in the question board below. If there's anything else you'd want us to look into, then please do let us know. When we could come back to Loiverse, if there's anything that you want us to look in a little bit more detail, we can definitely do a follow-up video. This is definitely a solution that we're gonna be looking to roll out to some of our clients going forward. So we'll definitely be able to give you some more updates later about how this solution is going. For now though, I think this is a really good and simple solution. It means that we can keep control of our stock figures and it gives an opportunity to be on top of our stock features. And I think that's gonna be really crucial for you, especially if you're used to that QuickBooks desktop stock management functionality. This way you're gonna have a stock management functionality that's completely cloud-based. The fact that I can just grab my iPad at any point and I can actually do a lot of that information directly here. I've got a whole back office option that I can go into and I can start looking at graphs and information. And more importantly, I can start doing some of those stock management stuff directly from the iPad itself. Meaning that I'm completely untethered from the computer and not having to make sure that, that I'm backing up each day and all things like that. I can have this and stroll this across multiple different warehouses, multiple different shops. And I know that I've got a solution that can scale with me. There's also some cool other solutions we want to explore with Loiverse as well. So again, make sure you've got yourself subscribed and we'll make sure you're the first to know about it. And there we have it. My name is Aaron Patrick. Hopefully this will help you with your stock management issues. And hopefully that way we can make sure that you are always going to have the best experience with QuickBooks Online. If you need any help with anything that we've looked at today, don't forget to come over to the Boffix website and book yourself in with a chat with someone like myself. I always love to help small businesses tackle some of their pain points. And at the moment, stock management is a huge pain point that small businesses are having. So let us know if we can help in any way, and I'm sure we'll be able to. My name's Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.